Hallelujah. Say, I'm trading my sorrow.
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. That is the two words you need to learn in order to have a successful spiritual life. Because no, God knows what's best for us. And if we tell him yes, hallelujah. Father, it is the entrance of thy word that bringeth light and life. And we want to just receive your word tonight. Let the anointing of the teacher be upon us. Give us an ear to hear, a heart to receive, and a will to obey. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And every glad heart said amen. Let's give God praise for all of those that are watching by way of streaming. We appreciate their presence here today. God has certainly been good. He's been better than good. He is great and greatly to be praised. And it is an honor to be in his house and to hear his word. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Again, we thank all of those that consistently watch and uh, join us in the cyber sanctuary. I want to go back to where we were last week. Proverbs 14. And Proverbs 14 and 20. Let's start at the 24th verse. Yes, Proverbs 14 and 24. If you have it, indicate by shouting amen. amen. Shout amen. amen. Okay, that's better, that's better. Just make sure you're alive here. Thank you, Jesus. I love him. I love him. Because he first loved me. And he purchased my salvation on Calvary. He did what no one else could do. Hallelujah. Proverbs 14 and 24, if you haven't indicate by shouting amen. amen. There we go. Read. The crown of the wise is their riches. We discussed this last week, that the crown of the wise is their riches. But the foolishness, read. But the foolishness of fools is folly. To be wise should produce fruit. To just say I'm wise and have no manifestation of that wisdom is just talk and it's, it's really folly and that word just simply means silliness it's, it's really silly for us to claim to have something that we do not have I thought I'd get a better amen and then I want to go back to where we left off uh, just studying that some more I was really Intrigued. Let's go to First Kings, the tenth chapter. Solomon was a wise man, and his reputation got out to the point that the queen of Ethiopia had to come see what the king of Israel was doing. Hallelujah. When you are walking in the wisdom of God, when you are producing what the wisdom of God causes you to flourish in, folk are going to talk. 
Yeah. And if you have the goods, they're going to do a lot of talking. <laughs> and they will speak until others are inquisitive. And they just want to come and see. Is it just talk or do they really have what folks say they have? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people love to go other places where people don't know them and brag because there's no proof. But if you follow them home, you will be grossly disappointed. That's, that's silliness. Yeah. Uh, but that wasn't the case with King Solomon. He really had the wisdom. And I, I, know, I know we went over this last week, but I just want to go over this again with a little bit more investigative uh, thought. Would you read that first verse and continue? And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord. When she heard. It's one thing for one person to come and tell you, but when it just keeps coming at you. Oh, I was in Jerusalem. Oof. That new king they got. <laughs> David was a fighter, but this man has some wisdom. And, and, and they know he has wisdom by what he is accumulating and amassing. Thank you, Jesus. I'll be happy when we recognize that God does not delight in our poverty. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What'd you read? She came to prove him with hard questions. She said, I'm going to see if he has what they say he has. And she came to prove him with hard questions questions. Uh, your, your, your claim, your talk should stand up to scrutiny. People don't like for folk to ask them questions. But if you have the goods, you're not worried about the question. Read. And she came to Jerusalem, she came to Jerusalem with a very great train uh -huh. with camels that bear spices and very much gold and precious stones. Mm -hmm. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions. There was not anything hid from the king, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table mm -hmm. and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers, and their apparel, and his cupbearers, and his ascent by which we went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. Now, she gazed, she observed, and she watched. She was overwhelmed, and by watching the meat of his table, she watched what he had. She looked at that literally means his spread, the flesh and the fruit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when you have wisdom, you eat better. I'm just, I'm just moving on, you know. Everything is not fast foods. All right, I... I, you know, I look on the thing and come on my phone and different uh, recipes and stuff to folks. I said, how can you eat that garbage? But it's not up to me. But wisdom will cause your spread to be better. You know, you, you know. You can have spam sometime. <laughs> that shouldn't be your main state. 
I'm moving on. I'm sorry. So she watched what he served. She was impressed by his table. And then the sitting of the servants. Moshav is that word sitting. It's a seat, figuratively. It's a sight, abstractly. It's a session by in, in extension in a bold, the place of the time by implication, the proclamation. What, he's, what she's saying here is I'm looking at how his servants gather, how they come together. You can't be productive just sliding in when you feel like it. Well, hey, I'm teaching now. It's too late. The way, the way we come to church, the way we come to our uh, 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 um, departmental meetings show how much wisdom we have because it is it is, uh, it is, what is the word I'm looking for? It is disrespectful for us to come on time and you just show up with an excuse. Y'all, y'all, I had to work today. You know the one with a job? All right, let me get back to Solomon. She's... She's watching everything. She watches how the servants are in session. She watches how the servants gather. And I want you to understand that this wisdom is, is delegated through the leader. Because when you lead something, you cannot allow things to be just done any type of way. Because it is reflective of who you are as a leader. Am I sounding like a pastor here? Okay. Watching everything. When I was over the choir, you know, yeah, it was it was rough. Yeah, it, it was rough because I, I didn't I didn't play I didn't I didn't understand you coming late. I I gotta be there on time. And it it, it was you know before I was the pastor, uh, I was the minister of music. Don't come to my rehearsal late think you could just slide in. We saw you come in and we've been rehearsing for a half hour. No, I'm, I'm serious. And folk will get mad at me because I put them out. Because you're wasting my time and you're disrespecting the time of others. I don't think I get too many amen. We ain't going to talk about musicians. We'll just move on. She watched his table. She watched the sitting of the servants. And get this, the attendance of his ministers. And that word is sharaf, which means to attend as a menial uh, worshiper. In other words, that menial is not requiring much skill or lack of prestige. And even those jobs that did not require great skill, they were on point. If you're going to be on the, the, the fries at McDonald's, be on the fries. 
Don't just, don't act like, you know, it is saying nothing because that's what you'll produce. Are you listening to me? She watched the attendance of the ministers, the worshiper, to contribute, to serve, to wait on. Everything she watched said, oh my goodness, this man is together. Not just listening to what Solomon was saying, but looking at those that worked with Solomon and served with Solomon. They spoke to the wisdom that Solomon had. You're not, you're not a very good leader if those that you are leading don't participate in the wisdom or the, 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 the riches that you have. says that uh, the attendance of his ministers and their apparel. People think, well, you just like to wear suits. No, 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 no. But I represent you. And you don't, you don't want nobody saying, Lord, I saw your pastor. Y'all need to do something for him. <laughs> I dress like this because I represent people. People that I think are smart. People that I think I have, have some, something about themselves. And I... Pastor Johnson is I and I went to uh, dinner this evening and and the waiter say y'all celebrating something? <laughs> no, the way you all are dressed, your, your ties and things, it's just everyday wear yeah. because of who we represent. Hallelujah. 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 Folk walking around, I, the, the, the Lord is, is, you know, the Lord don't care what I got on. Well, yeah, he do. He do, he do. He does. He does care. He told Solomon, I'm not Solomon, he told uh, Samuel when Samuel went to anoint uh, the king of Israel and Eliab the eldest came out there and, and uh, Samuel jumped up and said, oh my God, this is the fella. And uh, God told him, no, he's not. And then he said, man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. We, we know that, right? But what we did not put enough emphasis on is that man looks at the outward appearance. He does. I remember, and I may have told you this one time, when, when the church first started, when the church first started, I was, uh, you know, I, I had just come off of Broadway, and I had just bought me this Jaguar XJ6, completely paid for it. Uh, it, was, it was bad. It was wonderful. The, the owners, the only two owners was myself and the person that I brought it from. I bought it in Manhattan uh, Nissan and the owner before that was Carlos Gambino. Yeah. Me and Carlos. We had a... <laughs> I'm, tell, I'm telling you the truth. I, 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 you know, I was happy. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want a pastor. I was happy uh, being a songwriter, 
being a producer, you know, being a, 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 an artist. I was happy with that. And so while I was in New York, I had bought this bad um, mink jacket. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was wonderful. And so, you know, I say all that. So now, a year or so later, I'm pastor, right? And so one of the members was rushed to the hospital. This, now, you have to understand, church was just eight people. So I wanted, like, it was this flood of folks. <laughs> so it's, it's about 11.30, something like that, in, in, in the evening. And I got a call and said, so-and-so's in the hospital. So I, I, I rush over, I had on my, my uh, mink coat. With a little, it was just a jacket with a nice little uh, turtleneck and my hat and, and pulled up in there. And, and when I got to uh, go th to the emergency, the, the security guard stopped me and was like, uh, yeah, the, who, I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to see so, so we can't have any visitors. And I said, I, I'm the pastor. And he looked at what I had on. <laughs> <laughs> and said, you a pastor? <laughs> Looking at what you got, you don't look like no pastor. And that was the last day. I started dressing like I was somebody's pastor. Are you understand what I'm saying? When they look at you, it should be representative of where you come from. She's not just gazing it on, engaging it on just Solomon. He all decked out and his servants looked like, oh Lord. It is amazing um, how the church has become so independent. I don't need nobody. You don't tell me. You ain't got no heaven and hell to put me in. Nobody's trying to put you in heaven and hell. But we ought to look alike. We ought to have similarities. I used to tell them, said, that's your brother. That's, yeah, look at his head. We all got big heads. There should be some, we ought to look alike if we brothers and sisters. Talk back to me, somebody. Not you looking all different and special. Well, I'm, I'm, I might as well finish this. She looked at how they behaved, how they tackled menial tasks, what they wore, and his cupbearers, the folk that just made sure he was refreshed, they looked a certain way. They behaved a certain way. Glory to God. And I guess the, the, the cap on all of that was his ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord. And she saw the way he went in. We have to be reverent. We have to have respect toward the house of God. Hallelujah. This is not a gym. This is not, you know, folks, well, I, I want, you know, I just want a sinner. A sinner? Yeah, we're going to have a life sinner. Well, okay, that's nice you got a life sinner. But Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church. He didn't say my sinner. No, and, and I've, I've watched people and I've watched ministers build what they call multi-purpose buildings. Uh, and and with, the, with the effort of it, we don't want it to look like a church. Well, what you want it to look like? Yeah. 
is somewhere where we have church or have services, but it has not been dedicated to the Lord and primarily for his praise and adoration. The first thing, I'm sorry, the first thing that the voice speaking out of the burning bush, what he told Moses, take off your shoes. For the ground that you are standing on is holy ground. Look at your neighbor and say, recognize where you are. This is the house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the house of the Lord. So there should be reverence. When I ask men that come to church, take your hat off when you come into the house of the Lord. Because I need you to reverence where you are. Folks sitting, men with hats on and skull caps in the, in the, in the musicians, they play with hats. And other than you don't have respect for the house of God. You're not at a ball game. Is this too tough for me to be teaching? I figure I might as well get it right since, since y'all got me here. So they kept the cupbearers, the servants. There should be a reverence the way he ascended into the house of the Lord the way he went up the stairs, the way he approached where he was going. And when she saw that, the Bible says that her spirit went out of her. She couldn't handle it. Now, history say that Sheba and Solomon fell in love and all that, all that stuff. That's, you can read that on your own time. But the point I'm making is that when she came and saw what was happening, finish reading, sir. And she said to the king, it was a true report. It was a true report. What I heard the people saying, and they said it so persistently that I had to come see for myself. Yes, sir. Yay. If you do it right, folk will have to come and see. After Jesus was baptized of John in the Jordan, the Bible says the next day he was walking and uh, John looked up and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sins of the world. And the Bible says that uh, Andrew and Philip left John and started following Jesus. And when they got to Jesus, they said, Jesus stopped and said, what y'all want? And they looked at him and said, we want to see where you live. Well, kind, of, kind of an odd request. Because where you stay, what you have, is exemplary of the wisdom that you have. I'm, I'm trying to teach here. We cannot have the wisdom that we say we have and don't have anything to show for it. Well, they got a good heart. Yeah, but they don't have a good chair. They don't have a good car. They don't have a good wardrobe. They don't have nothing good. Am I teaching uh, prosperity? No, I'm teaching wisdom. And if you have wisdom, there should be rewards of your wisdom. 
Are you listening to me? Read that again. And she said to the king. She said to the king. It was a true report. Listen, I heard about you. That's the reason I left home. That's the reason I packed up all these camels, brought all this gold, brought all these spices, because I knew if I were coming to someone that had the wisdom that you have, I needed to bring something with me because I've come to ask you some questions. And if you have all that they say you have, then I should show reverence in coming to you with something. Look at your neighbor and say, don't come empty-handed. Don't come. That's disrespectful. That's... Hallelujah. 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 She said, I heard it. And what I heard and kept hearing motivated me to come see you. Now, it wasn't like she could just catch a flight. She had to come by camel. So she had to plan to be with him. She had to pack up stuff because it wasn't like she could just run up the street and come back the next day. When she came, she had to be prepared to stay a while. So she had to plan in order to come. I could preach right there. Tell your neighbor, plan in order to come. Just show up. Got a plan. She said, I heard about it, and it moved me. Read. How be it? I she said, I, 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 I didn't really believe everything they were saying. Because you're just too good to be true. I hope I'm getting through to somebody. She said, they kept talking about you. So I got to go. If he all of that, I need to be his friend. See, part of our problem is, if I could just veer just for a moment, we've locked horns with the wrong folk. We made the wrong guy our bestie. We made the wrong person. See, I'm getting, I'm getting hip again. We, we made the wrong person our ride and die. I didn't even know what that meant. Somebody told me, that's my ride and die. I said, what is that? I mean, I'm going I'm, to I'm stay with them. We're going to die together. So, so that, that's, I don't have them people. I just... I'll ride, but if it look like we're going to die, I'm going to get off. <laughs> Especially if it's something stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. We lock up with the wrong person. I had to come see. Because if you have what they're saying you have, I need that wisdom. I need to be friends with you. We need, we need to talk. It's not, it's not that you have to give me what you have, but if I can gain the wisdom that you have. I've known some pretty rich people. I have a guy that I text, I said, my BFF. What does that stand for? Best friend forever. I didn't know this. I was just copying somebody. 
But I put that on the things. <laughs> my BFF. He's my BFF. You know why? Ask me why. Because he's a billionaire. I need to know him. I need to know what he did. Y'all ain't talking back to me. I got enough thousand heirs. <laughs> I know a bunch of them. The low thousand heirs. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hope y'all don't dislike me. I, listen, she came because of what she heard. And what she heard, she saw the fruit of it because it wasn't just on him. It was with how they ate, where they sat, how the servants lived how the cupbearers worked and what they had on and his ascent into the house of God. She said, I came. Read. How be it? I how be it? not. I didn't believe all, I didn't believe one man could have all that. I, 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 just, I just didn't believe it. Read. The words until I came. He said, I didn't believe it till I came here. And my eyes had seen And seated. when I saw it, people ought to be able to see the difference that Christ has made in your life. I know I'm right. Give me John, the 12th chapter. John 12, and just start reading at the 17th verse. The, pe the people, therefore, the people, therefore, that was with him uh -huh. when he called Lazarus out of his grave. What happened? And raised him from the dead. Uh huh. Bear record. For this cause, the people also met him, for, they, for that they heard that he had done this miracle. Now, they didn't only come. Keep reading. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing. Behold, the world is gone so after the whole him. world ain't gone after him. Read. And there were certain Greeks among them. Well, let's not go there. Uh... Hallelujah. For this cause, the people also met him, for they had, for that they heard that he had done this miracle. What was the miracle? They, that he raised Lazarus from the dead. They came because he was a recipient of the power of God. When people come, they hear you talking about Jesus, but they want to see a sign that Jesus is with you. Not just a lot of words. This woman said, I, I didn't believe it until I came and I saw. Hallelujah. Go back to, to, to 1 Kings. Ten. And would you leave off? Read. How be it, I believe not the words until I came. 
until I came. And my eyes had seen it. Read. And behold, and behold, the half was not told me. You say they, 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 you greater than what I thought you were. She said the half. They just told me this and that and the other, and what they told me was enough to get me inquisitive, and get me out here. But after being here, they didn't tell it like it was. Do you understand how many folk in here are saved and love God? Yeah, yeah raise your hand. It's just say, do you know what a privilege it is to know Jesus? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sunday is the day. That's the day. That's the day that excels our faith so far above anybody else. Because it's not a myth. Jesus died on a cross, was buried in a borrowed tomb. And early on Sunday morning, he got up out of the grave. And when he got up, he declared all power. I don't hear nobody talking to me. All power in the heaven and in the earth. All power is given into my hand. We ought to have signs, signals. We should amass what the Bible would call testimonies of how great our God is. Is he great? I said he's great. I said he's great. We should be able to point when they come. This is what God does. This is how he brought me out. And they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. Ishatababasi. This is what he did for me. And this is the proof because if I had continued in the way I was going, I wouldn't be alive. But God rebuked the hand of the enemy, changed the trajectory of my life. My soul delights in you. Every station, every area, be it academically, be it in our workplace, be it in where we live, be it in what we have, be it in our family, everything that we have, we ought to say, God, God, God did it. Here's the reason I serve him. And when we finish bragging on them, they step back and say to half. He's greater than what you said he was. He's a mighty God. Finish reading that and the half. The half was not told me. Wasn't told me. Thy wisdom and thy prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard. Now, notice that the wisdom 
is tied to the prosperity. Yeah, let's go to uh, Proverbs 3. Go back to that. Proverbs 3 and, and, and 10. What does it say? So shall thy barns be filled. We'll go to, go to the ninth, 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 ninth. Uh, well, let's go to the fourth verse. We all know that by heart. Read. So shall thy find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Not with some of your heart. All thy heart. Give him a little bit of your mind, your heart. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not, read. And lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways. In all thy ways acknowledge him. And what will he do? And he shall direct thy path. In all thy ways acknowledge him. Come on now. We've been doing things and then after we got in something, we said, Lord, help us. And he said, why didn't you acknowledge me before you got in there? Not in some of thy ways. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Read the book. Be not wise in thy own Don't eyes. think you got it together. Be not wise in thine own Read. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And depart from evil. Come on out of evil. Read. It shall be help to thy neighbor. It will heal you to do what God say. Yeah. <sighs> Read. And moral to thy bones. Read. Honor the Lord with thy substance. No. Hold on to your stuff. Honor the Lord with your stuff. And with what? And with the first fruits of all thine increase. Everything you get, you honor God with it. I don't believe in tithe. All right. The tithe is not only the tenth, it's the first tenth. Can't be like the man told me, he said, I pay tithe. I said, you pay tithe? He said, yeah, whenever I go to church, whatever I got in my pocket, I guess that ain't tithe. I don't know. <laughs> At best, that's a tip, but I don't have, that definitely ain't tithe. Honor the Lord. Talk back to me, folks. Not with some of your stuff. Oh. I thank y'all for what y'all gave for my birthday. But I want you to know a dime of every dollar went to back to this church. Because I have to honor the Lord with all that I get. Are you listening to me? What is the result of honoring God with everything? Read. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty. No, they're gonna, you're going to scarcely make it. You're going to find a piece of corn every now and then. If you honor the Lord, your barns, is that plural? Your barns, so you got more than one barn. Your barn shall be filled with plenty. Read the book, and, thy presses shall and your presses shall burst with new, wine. with new wine. Read. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. Read. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth. Read. Even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Read the book. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, uh -huh. and the man that getteth understanding. Read. For the merchandise of it is the better. The merchandise, what you get from wisdom, is better than what? 
the merchandise of silver uh -huh. and the gain thereof than fine gold. Read. She is more precious than rubies. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Read. And all the things thou canst Com desire cannot compare to it. Are not to be compared unto her. Read. Length of days is in you her You gonna hand. live long. Length of days is in her right hand. But her left hand ain't empty. What's in her left hand? And in her left hand, riches and honor. No, y'all don't believe. I wouldn't let nobody tell me that I got to be broke in order to be saved. That's unscriptural. Not in length of days is in the right hand and riches and honor is in her left. If we have, and I'm finished, my time is gone. Man, time really go fast. When you have the wisdom of God, folk will come and see what it is you have, and they'll leave like the queen of Ethiopia left, saying to have. Let's stand and give God praise. The half. Are you listening to me? When folk come to this church, I don't want them to come to see me and that be the only thing they see. I want them to look at the congregation and say, wow, <laughs> what a church. Would you shake somebody's hand and say, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be here. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we honor you and we thank you. Let this word fall on fertile soil and let it bring forth fruit that should remain some 30, some 60, and some 100 fold. In Jesus' name. If there's someone here that says, Pastor Winans, I want to give my life to the Lord. I want to be saved. I want that wisdom that you're talking about. And I want you to come now. Come on and give God praise. Anyone, maybe someone is watching by way of streaming. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Our ushers are coming at this time. My grandmother used to sing song. He's wisdom, righteousness, and power, holiness, evermore my redemption full and sure he is all i need he's wisdom righteousness and power holiness evermore my redemption full and sure he is all i need he's wisdom righteousness and power holiness evermore my redemption full and sure he is all I need. Come on. He's wisdom, righteousness, and power. Holiness evermore. My redemption full and sure. He is all I need. Everyone standing, we all tithe here at PCT. Lift that seed up, Father, we thank you for this time. We pray that you bless both gift and giver according to their faithfulness and according to their cheerfulness. For it's not as a debt I owe, but as a seed I sow. Come, come, come. And power, holiness, evermore. My redemption, full and sure, he is all I my Lord redeem me when he died he's all I need all I need by his blood I'm sanctified he is all I need oh he's wisdom righteousness and power holiness evermore my redemption full and sure he is all I need 
Oh, church, he's wisdom, righteousness, and power, holiness evermore. My redemption, full and sure, he is all I need. Oh, my Lord, redeem me when he died, he's all I need. All I need, by his blood I'm sanctified, he is all I need. Well, he's wisdom, righteousness, and power, holiness evermore. My redemption, full and sure, he is. place in Perfecting Church Detroit. The members of Perfecting Church Detroit and Revival Tabernacle will, will worship together this Friday at 12 p.m. at Perfecting Church Detroit. Clergy of both churches will deliver the seven last words, followed by the ministry of Pastor Devon Go and Bishop-elect Marvin L. Winans. Don't miss Good Friday service at Perfecting Church Detroit. Amen. You are invited to join us on Resurrection Sunday. Praise the Lord. This Sunday we will be here bright and early at 8 a.m. Come and share in the joyous resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with PCT. The children will be ministering in song along with the sounds of Judah. And Pastor Winans will be preaching a life-changing word. Amen. Be sure to invite your family and friends to come worship with us for Resurrection Sunday. It is a breakfast and brunch sponsored by Perfecting Care. You are invited to come and join us and enjoy some delicious homemade food. Chicken and waffles, turkey sausage, bacon, hash browns, homemade biscuits, fresh fruit, a sweet station, and more. This will take place on Sunday, April the 7th in the Westminster Hall from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. The cost per person is $20 for adults and $7 for children aged 5 through 12. Please reserve your seat today immediately following service. Seating is limited, so you want to be sure that you do not miss out. This will be a great opportunity to worship with your PCT family. We are also offering to-go tickets if you are unable to stay. If you have any questions, you may see Sister Joy Singer, the department head of Perfecting Care, at the table in the main corridor. Perfecting Generations is hosting a Blaze Pizza fundraiser. This is taking place on Friday, April the 12th, from 12 p.m. to 10 p.m. Blaze Pizza is located at 3332 West Central Avenue. Come out to Blaze Pizza for lunch or dinner on April the 12th from 12 to 10 and present the flyer on your phone or show a physical copy of the flyer. Blaze Pizza in return will donate 20% of its proceeds to our own youth department perfecting generations. This fundraiser applies for dine-in, pickup, and delivery. PCT, you may see Sister Danielle Bates if you have any questions. Let's all try to support Perfecting Generations. Amen. Holy Convocation 2024 is fast approaching. All roads lead to Arlington, Texas, Monday, May 20th through, through Friday, May the 24th. Please join us for five days of power-packed services with Apostle Herman Murray, Bishop Kevin Wallace, Bishop Brandon Jacobs, Pastor Brian Nelson, and our own pastor, Bishop-elect Marvin L. Winans. This week also includes music ministry from our own PFI pastors and incredible singers. Registration for convocation is underway. There is a discounted group rate of $80, which is available right now. Please do not delay. Holy convocation packets are available at the registration table in the main hallway. You may pick yours up tonight. If you have questions, you may log on to the PFI website, www.pfi.world, for all Holy Convocation information, including host hotel information. It is time to get ready for Holy Convocation in Arlington, Texas. And lastly, 
thank you for worshiping with Perfecting Church tonight. We pray that you have been enlightened in your faith walk. We invite you to come back on Sunday morning for worship at 8 a.m. for Resurrection Sunday. Wednesdays, we are here at noon for prayer and 7 p.m. for pastoral Bible study. If you have questions, you may contact our church office. Thank you so much. Have a blessed rest of your week. Hallelujah. We praise God. He's wisdom, righteousness, and power. That song was penned by the late C.P. Jones. Yes, he's the pastor and the founder. Uh, uh, he was with Bishop Mason, and uh, then he founded the Church of Christ Holiness. But he, he writes some songs. <laughs> Hallelujah. And it's wonderful to understand that God is able to flourish you. I bless the name of the Lord. We want to praise God for I understand Mother Clint had a birthday. Yeah. Praise God for that. And uh, we just look for God to do great things. We're praying for all of those that have been afflicted and sick among us. There may be someone here that says, hey, this is where the Lord would have me, and I want to join perfecting. You can come now, people. If you praise God, they will come. Anyone tonight want everyone to be here this Sunday morning? Resurrection Sunday. Hallelujah. Want everyone to prepare as we are on our way to Arlington, Texas for Holy Convocation 2024. Lift those hands and hearts. Father, we honor you. We thank you. We pray that your grace and glory be upon us as we go from this place. Go with us. Keep us in the center of thy will and as the apple of thine eye. Bring us back together again at the time appointed and we'll be careful to give you praise. In Jesus' name, hug three people, tell them I love God and I love you.